Hi everyone in cloud computing and welcome to episode 23 of the Cloud Computing Training Show with Brad Nelson, an internationally recognized and world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader, David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show, David and I will be talking about a company called Akron and they're based in Ohio in the US and they've turned to a gym style membership model for IT training to better prepare their IT workforce. Hi Dave, it's great to see you and welcome back to another cloud computing training show. Yeah, and this is a good one too. I love it when people are thinking out the box in terms of how training is delivered and I love this model and I hope that other companies follow suit. Yeah, it's, it really pr looks pretty dynamic, doesn't it? But do you see this kind of training model, you know, growing and, and picking up in popularity then? I think training is commoditizing and I, and I actually feel sorry for the universities uh, and colleges in the United States and all over the world because uh, who needs to go to you know, college or school anymore unless you want to go for the parties because you can learn pretty much everything else online or you know going to these kind of unique, if you're looking for classroom training, it looks like these guys provided in some gym type style. style. And uh, it's a great way for you to get uh, a quick introduction to basically the tactical training you're looking for. I think most people out there have educations, they you know, have four year degrees and they're looking for skill sets to get them the skills to pay the bills. We've said that before on the show. And I think that they're hitting all of the, the hot points, cloud computing and data science and things like that they're able to provide you know, cyber cloud computing, blockchain sessions, things you need, you're able to learn quickly, able to talk to people, ask questions, and that'll get you the skills you need to go back to work. And in essence, very much like you go to a gym to build your muscles and build your endurance, you can use that outside the gym and use this outside the gym as well uh, to actually make some money. So uh, th this is a great idea, and we're gonna see all sorts of different variations of this. We're already seeing the CBT stuff and the coursework stuff. I think college and universities are getting that, getting into this game as well, not necessarily with their core um, you know, degree programs, but certainly some of their extended learning programs and making those happen. So we're seeing kind of a massive confusion of how people are looking to deliver this stuff and different mechanisms for making it happen. But this is another you know, kind of an innovative way to do it. And I applaud the company for thinking of it. And it looks like a lot of other companies are going to help them fund it. Yeah, it, it truly is thinking outside the box. And, and like you say, you know, innovation in, tra in the training space is, is becoming more and more dynamic because there's more and more need within organizations to identify the training methodologies behind how people are learning uh, and how quickly you can get people to learn in order to change uh, in such a um, ferociously changing market as cloud computing. Because uh, it really, the dynamics are changing so rapidly uh, and people can get very, you know, caught short more often than not. So what I also love about this uh, particular training that they're, they're running out with the, the idea of the gym is they're running free um, workshops, aren't they, for like an hour at a time. And a couple of the topics they're covering, I think, is a, a session on blockchain, data science, um, open data literacy and data security. Sorry, beg your pardon, cyber security and, and resiliency. So I, I really love the fact that they're, they're bringing people in on these workshops shops before they so I suppose try before you buy the the membership as it were yeah and then once you buy the membership you know it's an all-you-can-eat uh, license to get in there and get as much training as you can just like when you go into a gym I can use any of the machines that are there um, so that I pay for the membership I'm, I pay for access access to any other physical fitness equipment I need to you know get the goals and objectives around you know getting a good workout now here's the goals and objectives around giving my brain a good workout and giving the information I need uh, I'd be interested to hear what the what the membership is. Hopefully, it's uh, you know up to what a gym membership is. You know, typically, you know, fifty to hundred bucks a month U.S. But also, you know, are they going to rely on the fact that uh, you know 80, 80 to ninety percent of the people won't show up after the first time they go for the next uh, uh, year or so? I hopefully that won't be the case. So this is in essence a better way to consume training and better way to pay for it. I, I kind of get a little uh, frustrated with the college universities that do this paper credit model, specifically as expensive as, as they got. I don't know how much they cost in Australia, but they, they just have gotten unwieldy expensive here in the US. Everybody gets loans to pay for them and they can't pay back the loans. So they get in trouble pretty quick. 
And I would just like to see these sorts of models not only take place in terms of understanding tactical technological skills like blockchain and computer, um, you know, data science, you know, but also English and uh, history and all the other core, you know, finance, accounting, all the other core courses we need as well. Why not? Yeah, it's, I think it's great. It's great to have a community-based project where people can, like you said before, go in and do that computer-based training. They can be physically in a place and be talking to people and, and building that team. Yeah, I think it's, it's, a, it's a natural way in which people want to learn. And like we talked about on the show before, some people don't like classroom training. Some people don't like CBTs. You know, this kind of goes between both. And uh, also, the, you know, going back to college and paying you know, $2,000 per course credit, uh, even at the community college level is unacceptable as well. And so what they're saying is we're gonna rapidly teach you using proven teaching method over and over again, and it's gonna be a fixed fee. You don't pay per course hour, you basically just pay to be a member of this particular, you know, brain gym, let's, let's call it what it is, where I can go in as much as I want and get my brain physically fit around the different technological kind of emerging things, blockchain, we got all the hot things there. And I don't have to go to a college university where I'm waiting, you know, five years just to get the current language skills uh, that I need to go out and, and get a coding job. So hopefully this will kick the universities and the colleges in the butt in terms of get them in gear, in terms of how they're going to basically offer these things, because I think it's a good price point model. They're probably going to have better education here, you know, than they are using traditional sources. And I just really hope they're successful. So if you're a business around any of these businesses, Make sure you're investing in it. You know, perhaps reimburse your employees for becoming a member of this uh, brain gym, and and getting the training in place. And I think that's that that'll just benefit everybody, including you. You're getting smarter employees, and it'll certainly benefit uh, the uh, the gyms, um, the training gyms, because they're going to get the funding they need to keep on going, and it's going to benefit the people who take the courses because they're you know it, uh, furthering their career, understanding more becoming better at what they do, better at their job, and making more money and being happier. So it's a win-win-win. Yes, it certainly is. Here, here. We're all for the win-win-win and making people happy. That's marvellous. I was thinking, as they're adopting the gym membership model, where gyms normally give people a, a free towel to use um, before and after training, maybe they could throw in a mouse mat or something. Yeah, I'm sure they have a store there and you can buy a t-shirt, but I don't think it's going to be very impressive to the girls when they uh, go, back to, go back to school. So. Dave, thanks for being part of the training show this week. Awesome as always. Oh, this is a great, great topic. And uh, go out there and get your brain, give your brains a workout. You'll love it. Fantastic. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We do hope you enjoyed watching the training show this week. As you can tell, we thoroughly enjoyed recording it as well. And what doesn't make the edit stays on the floor uh, for this particular show. We've recorded two other shows this week as well, as we always do, uh, three shows every week. So go back and watch those as well, because they're pretty awesome. And we have good fun and cover some great topics on the C-Suite show and the Australia show. So thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoyed watching it. Remember, you can get David on Twitter, which is at David Linthicum. I'm also on Twitter, which is at Nelson underscore Hilliard. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all the other cool stuff. And also m make sure you, um, you, you tick the notifications bell as well. I never mention that on the shows, but that's really important. That way you'll be prompted of the new shows that are released every week. Thanks again for watching, folks.